everyone, this is Vervin here, and today I'd like to talk about settlements. So, what are settlements? Well, settlements are places you can put on farms or uh, harvesters or anything and to mine or harvest a particular resource on a planet so you can take advantage of planets. So, how do you get to a planet? Well, first you need a deed for a certain planet. So, sometimes on the contract board on different stations, you might find a deed for sale. This one is for Apollo, which would mean I can make a settlement on Apollo. And you can make settlements on eight of the starting systems. There are nine starting systems. There's also Janus, uh, which is mostly for hunting pirates, so you can't settle there. But for the rest of the systems, you can. However, if you're a free player, then um, you can only settle two planets, which I think is Ceres for grain and Vulcan for iron. But if you um, have a subscription to the game, you can settle in all planets. So the subscription is, is extremely cheap, but I'll get into detail of subscription and which perks it gives in another video. Um, but today I want to talk about settlements. So let's uh, say I buy a deed. Um, in this case, I already have this one because you see an asterisk there. So when you have asterisk, that means you already have those things. So you need a deed, but you also need uh, the factories basically to mine or harvest a particular resource. So how do you know which planet has which resource? Well, you can go to help, select help topic. There's uh, settlements right here with a lot of useful information. This really explains a lot, but it's a bit of a read, but I definitely recommend reading it. Uh, but here you can see that you can grow grain on Ceres, Iron and Vulcan, animals and Apollo, and so on. So um, today I'm going to make a settlement on Ubertus, because that's the only one I haven't settled yet. And there uh, I can make vegetable farms. So to do that you need, first of all, a deed for Ubertus, which I have. But you also need a blueprint for a vegetable farm. Sometimes on stations you can buy blueprints, for example here carbon har harvester, aluminium mine, residential tower. So I would need a blueprint for um, for the vegetable farm. But I would also prefer to have blueprints for, for example, power plants and residential towers and water towers to improve the efficiency. So this is not a thing you should do immediately because these things can be quite expensive. But once you have the money and you want to try out settlements, um, you can try it out. Um, you start off in the campaign getting a uh, deed for Ceres where you can make grain farms. So let's actually go to Ubertus. Uh, first of all, uh, so maybe maybe I should show you a settlement I have first to explain a principle. Actually, no, that's not necessary. Let's go there. So once you have these settlements, they will produce a certain thing. So um, Ubertus will start producing vegetables for me every day and you can pick it up and uh, use it for whatever you see fit. There. This is my plot of land. I really like these graphics here and the animation of the ship landing. So there's a couple of things you could do here. You can go to overhead view which is sometimes easier for planning. You can plan buildings. So I can plan an iron mine, but I wouldn't do anything here because I can only do vegetables here in these settlements. Um, so once I click on vegetables, you will see a different kind of grid. And the lighter the green is, the more fertility you have there. So the more vegetables that can be grown. So this is a very good square. It's 160 vegetables I could make here. So that's, that's very nice. Um, this is 166 and so on. So unfortunately I won't use this square for reasons I'll go into now. Um, or actually I could use it. So I haven't looked at this before and I'm not very good at efficient planning so if I do this not very efficient doesn't matter. Um, you can plan it as efficient as you want it yourself. Um, this is just to explain how to do it. Um, so first thing that you need are transport grids. Uh, transport grid there. 
and transport grids, every building that you build has to be connected to a transport grid, otherwise it doesn't work. So the common thing to do it here is just to Structure make planned. Structure planned. Structure this planned. and then for example you can't build that here. This. So now every building I would build would be connected. So to remove buildings, you click on remove building and then double click things. And there. Um, I could of course keep that one free by doing the following. Then I would have this one free for more production. Um, so then you want to plan. So you have a lot of different buildings one can you can build. Um, and you can actually plan those because someone made a very nice um, Excel sheet. So I don't exactly know who made this. Once I find out, I'll put the credits in the video and I'll put a link to this uh, to, to this sheet as well um, online uh, at the description. So what you always need are 12 transport grids, right? So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So then we also need vegetable farms. So let's say I want to make 10 because you only have 30 spots in here. This is 6 times 5, so there's 30 spots to plant something. So I want to have, let's say I want to have 10 vegetable farms. But to have those, I need workers, I need water, and I need power. Workers you get by residential towers, water you get by water towers, and power you get by power plants. Then you also want to have one entertainment complex to keep everybody happy so that they work harder and your uh, production goes up. And you want to have one warehouse so you can actually store food for your workers and you can get the stuff they produce in, stored in the warehouse to pick it up once in a while. So we want one of those. So now we already have 24 spots filled. Let's see if this works because I don't know exactly how many vegetable farms I can afford. But let's see, say we want 10. Let's see if that works. So as you can see, we need 227 workers. How much does one residential tower give us? That's enough. We actually have 73 surplus of workers. We need a fair amount of water for this. So let's plant three. That works. Maybe two? No. Three. Now we just need some power as well. And we still have two spots free. One, two. Ha! Huh. So that's actually perfect. So we can have exactly ten vegetable farms. So now the important thing to know is that some buildings give bonuses by being adjacent to other buildings. For example, especially the res residential tower gives a big bonus and then the water tower and power plant give a bit of a smaller bonus when they're adjacent to the farm itself. So then you can start all this optimization. So we, we have 10 vegetable farms to plan. So if we would put a residential tower here, now I just planned it. I haven't built it yet. This is just to plan your stuff. Then I can put vegetable farms here, here and here because the soil for like this soil fertility isn't great, but these ones are pretty nice. So these three buildings would get the bonus from the residential tower. Two, three. Then of course I want one here because it has a very high soil fertility. Then we've got one, two, three, four. So I'll put one there. Five, six, seven. Mm, that's actually a lot. Eight. nine and I'm just gonna put it there 10. I don't know if this is the optimal thing you can calculate that at some point yourself this is just to show how to do things so then uh, we planned I think two residential towers no one residential tower two fission plants and three water towers two fission plants so remember you need to buy the blueprints for these things as well so these power plants, they give a bit of a bonus to the things they're adjacent to as well. And they don't need to be on a very green spot because that's only useful for the uh, for the farms themselves. So I'm going to put a power plant here so that this one has bonus from both the residential tower and the power plant. And I'm going to put one here. Then I have three water towers to plan. So I'll put one there. So this one actually gets three bonuses. And I'll put one here. So these two get a bonus, and I'll put one here, so this one gets a bonus. 
Then there's two more buildings that we want. The warehouse, right there. So uh, nobody gets a bonus if they're adjacent to a warehouse. And the same with the entertainment complex that also doesn't give any bonuses. You can put it wherever you want. So this farm doesn't get any bonus from it. If you ever want to remove something, um, you can yeah, you can double click. Then this thing is gone. Uh, do, 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 transport grid. And there. So let's say this is the thing I want to build. So now I actually need to supply the resources. And as you can see here, it says requires 100 iron, 1 carbon, 1 aluminium, and 2 farming robots, and so on. So you can all add these up all yourself by yourself. Or you can actually go to here and you see all the things that you need. So I'm going to now pick those up and I'll show you how to uh, supply it. So I'll go to my, my own warehouse. So you click on takeoff. Now I'm in Hubertus again. I store most of my stuff in Apollo. So while I'm doing this, if you want a, a more detailed explanation of uh, settlements and things, I can uh, very much recommend Sinstride's videos. He's got um, a very nice video on, on, on how to make a settlement and uh, he goes into more depth and how to plan it efficiently. Um, so I'll put a link in the description as well. So here I go to my hangar and let's see what I need. I need 1873 iron and 25 titanium. 1873 iron, load quantity, uh, 25 titanium, there, Loading. then I need 202 aluminium and 30 ca carbon, 202, 30, then I don't need grain mining robots, I do need 20 farming robots, which you can often buy from contract as well. Uh, uh, this one here is selling 10 mining robots but you can also um, get farming robots uh, sometimes. You can also buy them from the galactic market or make them yourself in the end but that's uh, often a bit more expensive so I normally just stock up from here. Uh, oh I forgot how many I needed. 20 and 2 uranium for the power plants. 20 farming robots. I have enough and two uranium for the power plants. So you can imagine uh, if you have a very small ship this takes a while to haul all that stuff so I don't recommend doing it very early but uh, at the moment I can store uh, all the materials at once. So then I go to Hubertus. And then I land. So this land option is only available once you have the deed of that settlement, of that planet. So as you can see here, nice planning. So then, as you can see, it says click to supply. And so once I start clicking, you can see my cargo manifest go down and it should end up at exactly zero. Structure supplied. Construction commenced. Structure supplied. Construction commenced. Structure supplied. Construction commenced. So once again, this is probably not the most optimal way uh, to build it, but this I'll have to do for now. Just a gut feeling how I do it. And now I supplied everything. All my cargo is gone. And as you can see, it takes about, well, these take not a very long time, but you're mostly interested in farms. They take about a day to construct. Um, after they do that, once uh, they're constructed, they start uh, making vegetables and they start storing them in the warehouse. Then you can land to the warehouse and uh, basically open it like you do the, the hangar in, uh, or the warehouse in, uh, in any system, a space, uh, space station, and then you can load it into your ship. Um, so the workers, they need some grain, vegetables, meat, um, and the other one. Now I can't think of the one. Let's see, what's it called? Uh, 
fruit, yes, from the orchid. Um, so if you put some, you don't have to put a lot because the rate of consumption is not very high, but if you put some grain, fruit, uh, meat, and oh, I forgot of course about the other one, uh, grain, meat, fruit, and vegetables, yes, the very important food things. Um, once you put them in a warehouse, then the entertainment complex will serve the workers nice food in the restaurant and then uh, all the workers will be more happy and you get a bigger bonus to your production. So if you keep them well supplied, then they're going to be very happy. So in one day, everybody will start making vegetables for me and I can pick them up every day and use them um, to uh, forever thing, whatever I see fit. So. I hope you find it useful. So I'll put the links to the Excel sheet and Synstride video in the description. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.